Hello, welcome to K-Drama Preview and Review. In this video, I am going to preview episode 3 of Perfect Marriage Revenge. So do big feel bad for the way Yiju was treated by her adoptive family. He wanted to know the real reason Yiju chose him to marry. When she tells that she wants to marry him to revenge on her sister, mother and ex-fiancé who betrayed her, so Dubik promises to help her with her revenge. He makes a ring out of a flower and proposes her to marry him, to which she replies with a kiss. The next day's news about so Dubik and Yiju dating and kissing is all over the internet, which shocks Yiju. Looks like so Dubik, who stopped the articles about them dating before released them to start Yiju's revenge plan. Yiju gets locked in her room yet again. Yura expresses her disappointment on her father for not helping her out. He can't do anything now, as she failed to make Sodubik fall for her. Sodubik cooks for Yiju, and shares the best plan of revenge against her toxic family which is to love him. Later, Sodubik falls sick, and Yiju takes care of him. With Sodubik Yiju feels safe and warmth she never felt with her adoptive family. The news of her crush Sodubik marrying her sister Yiju, doesn't go well with Yura and she attempts a suicide by taking sleeping pills. Jae Jung Hai sees Yura lying unconscious and gets panicked. She tells Yura to trust her and she will take care of everything. So Dugook's mother gets into a fight with another woman. She doesn't want her son to marry Yiju, so she tells Yiju to back off instead of fighting with her sister over Sodubik. There is no way for Yiju backing off now for anyone and for anything. Perfect marriage revenge is going perfect so far. Things are progressing quick without unnecessary drama. I like it. What about you? Do let me know in the comments section below. If you like this video, like, share and subscribe. See you in the next video. Until then, take care.